So guys, any allegation against the government now? What we want to believe it? Because this is the same Nam Dekano that has not been in the country that they've been looking for ways to bring him back to Nigeria to jail him because they told us we were told that he jumped bay. But as we speak now, he's been vindicated that he never jumped bay, but he was forced out of Nigeria because they wanted to kill him. And now they have asked the go federal government to pay him uh, to compensate him for that. And one will be surprised that since he was brought back to Nigeria since last year, why the delay? What is delaying the whole processing? Why are they still holding him in the DSS custody? They will go to court today. At times, they might not bring him. At times, they will bring him. They will just, you know, all these flimsy, flimsy excuses here and there. They, will, they keep on adjourning, adjourning. You begin to wonder if you really have what it takes to nail this man. What are you waiting for? And now the allegation now is that the federal government is offering him money. They are offering him money. Of course, he's not going to collect it, at least from what we have seen from what has been going on. Well, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, have said the Nigerian government is keeping its leader, Nam Dekano, in the custody of the Department of State Services because it declined monetary and land offers to make him forsake Biafra agitation. Of course, we saw, we know those one, those one who started this whole thing from the beginning. We know where we are, where they are now. They can't, they don't even have voice. They have no voice. Some of them are stylishly trying to fight with this man. That what is your problem? What is the big deal about it? Somebody like a Asai Dukubo, you'll be wondering, even this man, why did he go so quiet? Wazuriki, why did he go so quiet? He was on top of this game. So does it mean that uh, the Biafra has been achieved or what? Why the silence? Uh, there are a lot of accusations here and there. A lot of accusations here and there against them. So, one is not going to be surprised that the government is keeping this man just to shut him. And they have done all manner of things just to make sure that he gets scared. Even those who are supporting him or those who still have that mindset of agitating for one thing or the other. Whether it will scare them and make them to just back down. But as it is now, maybe other groups can really back down. But as far as these people are concerned we can see that they are not ready to back down. Not after they have lost a lot of things. What is money? What is whatever? No. The most important thing, do the right thing. The government should do the right thing. If not that there is a, an agenda, unfortunately, the people from the South are not seeing it from that angle. They always love to be politically correct. Hypop said this through a statement by its media and publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, on Monday, saying the attention of the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has been drawn to the secret plans by the Buhari government to illegally detain our leader, Mazen Namdekano, for as long as possible. The annoyance with our leader is his blunt refusal to take properties and monetary inducements offered him to abandon the struggle for Biafra liberation. The federal government decided to hold our leader def indefinitely. To so see if it can possibly infiltrate the ranks of a great movement and destroy it from inside while our leader is in custody. The federal government is also relying on the promise by some traitors and black sheep in America and Europe that they would assist in realize they will assist it realize the evil plot. The promise was made to the federal government during their secret visits to Asu Rock last December. It is it is it also disclosed that the Nigerian government was plotting to pitch the international community against the group. We are also aware that the federal government has been lobbying the international community to enlist their support against Biafra liberation, but they won't succeed. Therefore, anybody distracting or causing division in the IPO family is it so knowingly or knowingly working for the federal government of nigeria the fact remains that biafra is a divine project it has gone beyond any single individual including a leader millions of the oppressed biafran biafran youth home and abroad are now more aware and conscious than ever it's only a matter of time biafra must come it can only be delayed but certainly not suppressed 
our leader Mazin Namde Kanu must be released unconditionally. So the federal government won't achieve their aim because our leader Mazin Namde Kanu and IPOP members committed no crime known to law both locally and internationally. Again, we want to raise the alarm that the Department of State Services VSS has concluded plans to hold and keep torturing three innocent Igbo women in solitary confinement without allowing them out of their tiny cell at all. These innocent women were being held under such condition because they have refused to lie against our leader Mazen Namdekanu. So the DSS intend to break their spirits. The DSS is going to courts and obtaining black market orders to detain Bia France indefinitely. And come one of the judges issuing such orders is Justice Maha of Federal High Court Abuja. The world should be aware of this. They must be made to account for their crimes. The statement added. <laughs> yeah, wonder shall never end. And all of you can see the little terrorists. They have leaders here and there. They have they they've been unable to capture them. We learned that uh, this is uh, Toji or whatever they call him. Is now in one of the forests in southwest. Oh, police came out and said, No, it is not true. So, where is he? Before now, this man used to brag. Mago, what was his name? Gumi used to brag that, hey, Oh, that they, they told him that they can't get them, that the people they are just killing are just their children and their and their wives, that they have a particular route that they run to whenever the army uh, come around to, to get them. And if somebody like that knows what uh, you know what where and how they always escape so where is the intelligence gathering where is the intelligence gathering from the government where where i remain speechless as this matter is bigger than my head imagine the effects of what these people are taking they think uh, my leader mazen namdekano is hungry bingos like them they have failed and we continue to fail. All we want is Biafra. We can't be bought, not at all. We can't be bought. Yes, Buhari will fail woefully, hands down. With somebody like Namdekano, the man is whiter than snow. God bless Mazin Namdekano. Now that IDP camps gates are open, you will soon start seeing them flooding this place because of uh, Namdekano. Can you imagine? Okay. Someone said, if Kano rejects money, let them offer him two fine guests and enough condoms, really. <laughs> Wazurike accepted it. So Namde Kano won't be, a, won't be the last person, even if he accepts it. But remember, someday Biafra will come.